Well, having lots of bling can really break the bank. Don't we know it? Next to 10, consumer reporter Chris Kamura looking at jewelry and an intriguing alternative that promises to sparkle but not tarnish your finances. Beautiful, fancy marquise cut. On Shop at Home TV. What we love about diamonds is all the colors under the rainbow. Channel surfers are bound to see the CZ, the cubic zirconia. It just looks fabulous. The sometimes ridiculed, but always less expensive. For $69.95. Alternative to a diamond. Who doesn't love diamonds? Real diamonds are not cheap. Prices have risen for ages, and worthy alternatives have been elusive. But one company is aiming to change that. They're scintillating, and they're brilliant, and they're amazing quality. Lisa Bissell is CEO of Pure Grown Diamonds, the New York company that's making diamonds, real diamonds. They're chemically, optically, and physically identical to mine diamonds, even under a microscope. Inside a Singapore laboratory, Pure Grown Diamond says its scientists are recreating nature's most magnificent magic trick. They begin with a seed, which is a small piece of carbon, and trigger crystallization. High heat and high pressure transform these seeds the same way the earth creates diamonds over eons. Only here, the process is a tad faster. Six to 12 weeks later, a diamond is complete, which is ready for cutting and polishing. Pure Grown Diamonds calls its stones a breakthrough for science and your budget because these man-made gems sell for 30 to 40 percent less than mined diamonds. The math is impressive. Glamour Magazine puts the cost of today's average engagement ring at $5,229. A Pure Grown rock would sparkle the same but cost $2,092 less. That's a significant savings. For a second opinion. It's definitely a diamond. We invited jeweler Scott Terry in the loop. Chemically and physically, they look great. Same as you'd see in natural diamonds, he spotted imperfections in pure grown diamonds. With just a loop, you can pick up a small black inclusion. The technical feat impresses Terry, but he's hung up on the stone's birthplace. Like other luxury items, he insists its origin matters. If you buy a Rolex, it was made in Switzerland or in China. What's, you know what I mean? In Terry's mind, a diamond from a lab is less alluring than a diamond from the rough. There was millions of years that went into the processing of, of growing a real diamond, and I think that's kind of the romance and beauty behind the stones. Bissell contends that Solitaire's backstory is irrelevant, especially in an era when diamond prices are up and salaries are flat. The thing that does matter is that pure-grown diamonds are 30 to 40 percent less money than earth mine diamonds. So it's time to pop the question. Who's right here? This is a scientific breakthrough. There's a reason they haven't taken off. That's up to you, and we're waiting on your answer, consumers. Chris Kamora, Fox 13 News. Well, Pure Grown Diamonds sells its gems direct, and they say cutting out the middleman also saves you a good ton of money.